welcome to the 100 Authors 100 Days conversation, where we explore writers, entrepreneurs, and luminaries all making a positive impact in the world. This is a place where we get to hear the story behind the story. So I'm your host, Adriana, and today we have an incredible author. She's already written a, a book, and she's um, participating in our Latinas 100 um, anthology, and she is um, Adriana Ruiz Flores. And she has worked in advertisement and copywriting for more than 25 years. She has worked in the editorial area doing proofreading and translations. She currently works as a freelancer for several companies and publishers nationally and internationally. Adriana is a Mexican mompreneur. I love that you wrote that. Uh, a life coach focused on helping the integral well-being of the person through the recovery of inner power and forgiveness towards oneself and others. Adriana is already published, like I said earlier, published her own book, uh, 2018, in Spanish. Um, and I'm going to not read it in Spanish, but it, the title is uh, Me, Woman, I Want, I Can, I Deserve. And it's the Spanish version, and it's for sale on Amazon. And I love it because I realized when I was going through your work that you're also like a poet. <laughs> well, yeah, kind of. I mean, it's like, I mean, I just... I just write what comes to my mind and to my translate to my handwriting and, and, and to whatever I want. I do meditations. Uh, I work on, you know, empowering women and men as well, because I was trying to focus on women, but it's impossible. I mean, I have a lot of men, follower men, and that's nice too. I mean, helping human beings. That's what, that's what I want to do. And that's why I do it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank and you. I also, so welcome, welcome to, to the 100 Authors 100 Days. Um, I saw your YouTube uh, page and I was just going through the videos and I'm like, oh my God, I love your personality, you know? So I was, I was really <laughs> happy. You. I was really happy that when I reached out to you, you said that you were willing, you were uh, willing to write your own story in the, in the book. So I'm really excited about that because as I was reading your story, I, I realized that it's really deep and there's a lot of things that you've gone that you've gone through in life. And, you know, I know that it was only like, it's basically like one chapter in the book, right? But one thing about what you wrote is when you start off your, your, um, your essay slash story, you start off with a poem, which I love. I was like, yay, because I'm a poet too. <laughs> so I've, I've published a lot of poetry nice. books. And I was like, okay. Uh, and then you also were one of the authors that did in Espanol and English too. So you, so you have both English and Spanish. So I love, I appreciate that you did that. Um, you. Can you share with the viewers a little bit about uh, just, you know, your, your tu trayectoria, where you've been, where you're at now. Uh, earlier before we started recording, you said that you also know Italian. So that's totally intriguing to me because not only, not only do you know two languages, you know, three languages, which is, you know, and then I was reading through your story, your international, the way that you grew up with your parents. Can you share a little bit about your story so that so the viewer can hear a little bit about you? Yes, of course. Uh, well, first, uh, I'm 48 years old. I was born here in Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico. I have been living here for almost all my life, but I have traveled to several parts of the world uh, during my life. I mean, I was born in a Mexican Salvadoreña family. And I have two sisters and it was a really beautiful, I mean, life that I had. I mean, not, nothing, you know, they were not um, poor or, or, you know, lack of food or, you know, or, or violence or nothing at all. I mean, my parents uh, taught us to be great women and, and taught us to be, you know, professionals and, and not to depend on anyone. Uh, but with a lot of love, they still married. So that's, uh, uh, that's something that I, I admire. They are absolutely, I am absolutely a fan of them because they have been, they have passed through a lot of things and, and they are always with us, the three of us. I mean, it's uh, in my life after the sickness that I'm going to tell you, it was like the support 110% all the time for me my kids and, and for my sisters. So um, as I grew older, uh, I, I studied communications. I, I did uh, advertising design, copywriting. I worked in a publishing um, 
editorial, uh, you know, designing the covers of the books. So I always wanted to write something, you know, it was like, I want to write something. I don't know what, but I'm, I'm going to write a book <laughs> someday. But someday is not even a word. I mean, it's not a day. So it never came because there's always something else to do. Yeah. You know, there's always more important things to do. And you don't live because you write. Well, not until you are, you know, famous and yeah. you can actually live from writing. But I was always thinking I want to do this and, and I, I want to express something. And but it never came. So life just go on. I got married. I got two beautiful kids and, and I was living the life that I thought it was perfect. Mm -hmm. Of course it wasn't, mm -hmm. uh, but you know, life as it comes and I was, you know, happy and I was doing what I was supposed to be doing in, in 2011. And then it wasn't, I mean, I got sick, very sick from one day to the other and doctors couldn't, find the answer of what I was passing through and I was at the hospital the 18th of December 2011 and I remember just you know all blur and and with a lot of pain and it was like where are my kids I mean right now my my son is 14 and my daughter is 17 but imagine eight years ago I mean they were little kids and and it was like what's going on I was really scared DC and, and, and I mean, it was like super scary, you know, it was like, I don't want to die. I mean, I want to I wanna see my kids growing older, you know, it was like, please God, don't, I have a little, don't, don't take me right now. Just give me a few, a few years more, please. <sighs> so <I was laughs> just please, that please. You were, I was reading that you were in bed for like a whole year. Something like that. Yes. Uh, at the beginning, I was uh, at the hospital for almost a month or something like that. And the doctors decided to bring me back home because it was safer for me to stay at home. And while they were trying to understand what was going on with myself. So I said, yeah, please bring me back to my kids. I want to go back to home. And, and I returned home and, you know, everything was upside down. But I decided to leave no matter what. So um, it was very painful. I was very, very thin. I couldn't eat because it was all affected in my mouth and my, my nose and my throat. And, and it was like, I was like a, like a stick, really, really thin with a lot of medication. So uh, I was not able to walk. And, you know, I was really weak. So I was like in bed most of the time. Uh, while the months passes, I, I started to be a little bit more strong, a little bit stronger. And here in my head, you know, it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to die. I just want to live what it comes, whenever it comes, happy, you know, so I started meditation, I started to, you know, try to walk a little bit more to take a shower by myself. You know, my mom was all the time with me taking care of my kids. My husband in that moment was a really nice person in that moment, you know, working and, and all that. He's a really good man, actually. I mean, but, well, he got tired. Or I don't know what happened. But anyway, so, <laughs> yeah, it was almost a year in bed. And then uh, the end of uh, 2012, I started to be a little bit more uh, strong, as I said. And um, the the diagnosis came and saw the medication uh, started to, you know, be more accurate. Mm -hmm. So uh, I was in the process of healing. And I actually, um, my mindset was that, you know, it's like I bless all the medicines. I bless all the doctors. I bless everything around me. So I want to be healthy and healthy and healthy. Wow. So two years after, yeah, my son got sick two years after. And during these two years, I was like, okay, I have nothing to do but healing. You know, yeah. I cannot go to work. I cannot drive. I can so I will start writing something. Mm -hmm. So I start the process of writing whatever it comes to my head. 
just ideas, chapters, poems, whatever. Actually, I remember putting on, on a wall like this, uh, like chalkboards and, and, you know, with all the ideas and everything that came to my mind just to empower myself first, you know, to, to make myself feel happy no matter what. Because you understood and, the power, you understood the power of meditation in your mind. Yeah. Who were you, yeah. who were you reading while you were writing? Who were you reading? Who were the books or the people that you were reading when you, you understood that it was all in the mind, you know? How? Well, one of my favorite author is uh, Louise Hay. Uh, yeah. Actually, I, I was- knew well, well, I knew it. Ah, I knew it. Louise Hay. She's, I was like, she I mean, must have, a, yeah. Mm -hmm. She's so powerful. Actually, while I was waiting for the interview, I was reading this one. Yeah. Again, it's like one of my Bibles. I actually uh, work a lot with the uh, work myself with the one uh, title, You Can Heal Yourself. Yeah, heal your the, thoughts, heal your body. Yeah. That's heal your thought, heal your body. It's, I mean, and, and you know that that has a, um, this other book, like it's, it's like a workshop, you know, that you can follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can answer and you can just put notes in it and all that stuff. Wow. And while I was waiting for the interview right now, I was reading what I wrote, you know, because I have notes in the books, you know, like I, I have little notes and, and, and underlined, you know, stuff. And I was like, oh, wow, I mean, this is amazing. I mean, I read this in 2013 and wow. I put this and that and, and things have moved, energy have flow and things have been amazing. Wow. And I have been co-creating so many things right now. And I have been manifesting so many things from two years from, I mean, 2018, 2019, 2020 has been amazing for me. Wow. I mean, and it's, it's amazing. I mean, it's wonderful. Yeah. And the fact that you were able to heal, I mean, I, I know that the doctors were pivotal, the the nurses and the medicine, because I love this idea that you were blessing them and you were also blessing the medicine. And, uh, and then you were doing the work, you were doing the inner work, which is one of the, when I was watching your videos and listening to you um, and on YouTube, I was like, oh, she understands the inner work. It all starts in here. And, and that's a huge testimony that you're able to say, yeah, you basically healed your body because you understand this mind, power, mind, body connection, right? I just love that. I, I just, wow. That's you, you all have to, whoever's listening out there, you definitely have to read her story. I'm not going to go through all of it right now. I will <laughs> mention like some, some parts where she, she discusses a few things, but, but this is such a huge, a huge moment. And I think, um, you know, what, what do you think about what's going on in the world right now uh, with regards to this particular topic about people starting to understand that it really is a mind body connection. Do you see that kind of happening around the world? I do believe that is happening, uh, has been happening for a few years now, um, but yeah. it's more, more noticeable right now because of the uh, information, the internet and the social media. Yeah. And actually you can see the other side of the coin, you know, the, the ones that do not believe in this, that think that everything is material and, and that this is not true, but uh, yeah. I do believe that there's a conscious awareness right now in a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And what I do work with myself, my son and my family in general, but my people, my, my, my clients and in my videos is that in, that important um, idea of you being aware every single moment of your day, mm -hmm. not your life, your day, your day. Yeah. every single moment of your day to be aware of the way you are feeling. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that you are not feeling bad or you are not sad or you do not get angry or you don't want to punch your kids in the face <laughs> once in a while. I mean, yes, of course. I mean, that's that, we are human beings. But what I think and what I noticed in, in the people that I connected with and as you right now, I mean, it's like we are a lot of people uh, now aware of what we can do with our minds, with our heart in connection. We have the, the mind, the spirit, the heart, the God. If you are in alignment with that, you can create a lot of things. Yeah. It's not about, uh, I mean, 
there's a reason why we are talking right now and there's a reason why we are writing this book uh, yeah. uh, and there's a reason why we are all these 100 women are in connection and in 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 this project yeah. it's yeah, it's so because, true it's so it's so hard to... we attract each other yeah. i mean it's the law of attraction it's it's yeah i mean you connected me but from some reason i i attracted to you and you're attracted to me i mean it's like it's like this powerful energy and it's like you know there's an analogy that i used to tell my clients and it's like i mean some of my videos talk about that it's imagine the internet or the email i mean you write an email you send it you click send and there's you know five seconds ten seconds okay maybe 10 15 seconds and then you receive the email and that's human hands that created that imagine the power of your thinking mm -hmm. imagine yeah. the power of your thoughts you know turning into things i mean the point is that you doubt about yourself yeah, I, I, I think it's so powerful. And, and I and I also know that, you know, we're not having this conversation for no reason. It's not like random. It is like this beautiful, like, like uh, orchestrated connection, because I know that um, when I was when I was in meditation and in prayer, I was like, let, you know, let this project be a blessing, guide me to the right people. And initially, like the first couple of months, like I only had like 14 women. But then when I would meditate, I was like, I was being like, basically guided. like, don't worry about how many women, if it's only 10, it's only 10. If it's only 20, it's only 20. Like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And it was like maybe 45 days ago. And we were only like at 50. And then wow. I, I, you know, my ego was like, oh, I, you know, it's supposed to be 100 <laughs> women. And, you know, and, and then I just sat down and I was just like, meditate. And then I was being like, you know, guided. And I was like, just go on LinkedIn and find find someone that you know so then I you know did my blessing and then your name pops up hmm. and then I was like okay so then I went to your site and then I saw your videos and I was oh I really like her vibe and then I sent you the email and but I wasn't worried like I wasn't attached to the outcome I figured if she connects with me great if she doesn't connect with me you know maybe it's maybe she's not in sync and that's okay you know and then it was all, all of a sudden you know you show up and now we're having this conversation now you're part of the group and then you're also like member of the member of the week <laughs> thank you <laughs> like thank you so much so uh you know it was all kind of like for me a sign that yeah everything is orchestrated and it all if you if you pay attention and if you do the work, right, if you if you just don't worry about how it's going to happen, but you just sit with it and you open your mind, your heart and you deal with compassion and you and the intention is to give into and, and to create something beautiful, then it just mad and it's like magic. It just it, you know, life opens up for you. And I really believe that, um, you know, I see a lot of that in your work. I see a lot of that in what you write is like your, your deep understanding of how it just flows. And clearly it has everything to do with this experience of experiencing having this closeness with death, where you're just so close to it that you have no other option but to see the greatness in the world, right? Absolutely. And then, so now you're here and then not only are you blessing us with your participation in the group and I was empowering the women and everybody participating. And then, you know, like, you know, we're meeting for the first time here on Zoom, but we've been interacting and it's like this, this just beautiful trajectory. And the fact that you're into Louise Hay's work, which I've been into Louise Hay for years too. And, and I had made it a mission to really interact with, especially women that understand her work because it's, it's so big. I think it's so, there's still so many more people that I believe that I would love for them to know about Louise Hay because it, it allows us to heal our bodies and our minds. So I love that. Absolutely. And, and, and while you're saying this, it's like, oh my God, that's the point. I mean, the point is to allow things to happen. We are our own blocks. Yes. You, you, you are your sabotage. Your main sabotage <laughs> is yourself. I mean, it's, I can, I want to do this, but it's not possible. I want to have all the money, but I hate the people with money. I mean, I mean, why, why do you hate people with money? I mean, money is energy. So that's, yeah. and that's how we're programmed though. That's how we're programmed, especially when it comes uh, to money. I had to deprogram myself 
I, I spend like the first 20 years um, thinking people with money were bad. And then I spend the next 20 years deep programming myself to believe that, you know, money comes easily and um, all the time and me yo el dinero, like money just rains on me, you know, and it's like exactly. so easy, and it has so to come. easy, you know, it has to come. I mean, you just need to allow it. I mean, it's like, I need the money. I need the money I, I, or, or repeating affirmations. Uh, it's not about that. It's not about repeating affirmation. It's about believing and vibrating the affirmation. It's yeah. like, and then the way you say it, también, verdad? it's like the way claro. you're like, oh, I am so wealthy and I live in wealth and everything around me is wealthy and there's abundance and there's more than enough to go around. And I'm not even saying that I want anything. I'm just being that I'm being abundance. I am being in the moment. And I think that that's where a lot of people like miss it, right? Where they're like, it's the words I'm being. Like you have to pay attention to the words. Don't say that you want anything. Be that thing that you want, right? Be that experience or put yourself in a, in a, in a, in a room or in a situation, in a circumstance where you are glowing with abundance. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And, and this has to do uh, what you were talking a few minutes ago about this uh, collectiveness, you know, people collectively thinking that and believing in that. And, and that's the power that we are attracting the people that actually is... Um, connecting with us and the money and, and the things and the material things are flowing to us and the spiritual things are flowing to us and the healthy things are flowing to us because we are that stuff. Yeah. We are inside that vibration and that must come. I mean, you know, during this process of my life, this past years, eight to nine years or something like that, and the experience that I have been passing through, us as a mom with a with an illness uh, uh, with a sick son and and telling him or teaching him how to be happy with whatever it has you know it's like very 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 um empowering for myself to to have the opportunity to do that also with my son you know mm -hmm. because he can say to me I mean you got sick when you were older, uh, 40 years old. You, you was an old lady. I am 11, 12 years old. I'm 14. I have a lot of life to do. You, I mean, don't get to know. You don't get to tell me what to think or what to do. And I'm like, yes, of course. I mean, what an amazing opportunity you have to learn from your very young age to vibrate in the vibration that you want to vibrate. Yeah. How amazing it is for you you know, just get rid of all the negativity around you and just be in alignment with yourself and, and, and attract whatever you want. Mm -hmm. You want something, ask for it, for it, and it is given. And that's your power, you know? Mm -hmm. and, and not think in the idea that our parents taught us or, or you know, this lack of money or the government blaming the the, the war or or the situation in blah 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 or your sickness or whatever i mean it's it's not the sickness it's not the government it's not what you had in the past it's what you are doing or feeling or vibrating and expressing right now i mean are you congruent are you in conscious awareness of what you are saying and you are vibrating are you having fun with who you are because if you're not having fun and you're just struggling and, and fighting don't fight just allow things to happen make them flow I love that allow them to be I mean there's always going to be something good and something bad uh, sickness and health um, poorness and, and, and money and you know it's like yeah of course there's always two sides of the coin. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of life. Mm -hmm. You choose. Yep. If you want to feel good, if you want to feel bad, if you want to vibrate different, if you want to stay vibrating the, you know, <laughs> you know, you can keep complaining or you can just move to the next level. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love it. And I love that's why I love your videos, because I'm like, you really go deep into that. And then you also, uh, I noticed that you're into crypto, because I'm into crypto too. 
And uh, I just I just finished a an Amazon. I did this uh, like Bitcoin ledger. So instead of people, you know, putting it in a hard wallet, like a lot, most of, I like to write. So I write in like whenever I buy different coins and things like that. Uh, so tell me a little bit about that business. I'm really interested in knowing a little bit more about what you do. Well, this is fun because. Uh, well, everything in my life is fun. <laughs> you know, I, I, I was tempted to start it in cryptocurrency a few years ago, but my mentality, my mindset, according to money, was still not in a good place. You know, right. I grew up with, I mean, as I said, my parents gave us everything, you know, the basics, and, and we had this beautiful, all, uh, vacations every year and we you know we had the clothes and the shoes that we don't we didn't have the abundance you know like so knock to my door no i'm not and, and the scare or the frightening ideas that i have according to money you know it's like push me away i wasn't ready you have to be ready to be ready to be ready abraham said that abraham hicks said that you have to be ready to be ready to be ready and i, I believe abraham absolutely hicks. in yeah. abraham i totally believe that and now things are starting to fall into places and once I said, I'm not afraid anymore. I'm not afraid of living. I'm not afraid of dying. I'm not afraid of nothing. I'm going to be like the birds that sing every morning in my window, that they do not care or worry about how am I going to get my food today or if it rains or if it's the sun very, 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 very strong. I mean, I want to be that. I want to be that bird. I want to be free. Uh, mm -hmm. free of being afraid yeah. or not having something to eat tomorrow, I am stopping that. Mm -hmm. And I choose, it's a matter of choice, to jump into the cryptocurrency world. And then I made the jump. And I said, okay, I'm going to do it. And I have so, several friends that I am attracting, you know, they, and they are really, really beautiful human Beings and, and spiritual people and because there's always an excuse also for that you say i don't, I don't want to go there because i don't have the money to invest yeah and you are waiting well i have the money i will invest when i get there i'm going to do that when i get there i'm going to have the money and then i will have it. and then so there's always a later you know that yeah. the later philosophy that i mean hello yeah. get rid of that yeah. That's some, only days, some days not in the calendar. Exactly. It's like someday and, and, and maybe later or, or when I do, when I, uh, uh, no, don't do that. So once I choose to stop doing that and I said, okay, what's the point of living like that? I mean, let's be the bird. Let's open our mind. Let's open our soul. What's there? What is there else to lose? Yeah, and in but learning, so where you've been learning about how the the digital digital currency it, uh, works and how it may or may not, um, I don't think it's going to replace uh, money, but it will be another way to um, exactly money. And and uh, it's so. going to be, I I think it's in a in a certain point, it's maybe going to change the fiat currency, of course, because oh, yeah. it's it's I mean one of the fears that many people has, which is like, I mean, there's not a bank. How can you have your money somewhere in the, in, I mean, somewhere, yeah. I mean, this is much better than a bank. I mean, go yeah. to a bank and the bank is telling you, it's just telling you yeah. all the time. The banks I are mean, taking every, your money and they're, and they're using the your money to make money. And then you, they, they give you less than 1% a year. It's ridiculous. It's, it's such a, it's ridiculous. they're stealing from you basically is what the banks all are doing. And, and cryptocurrency, it's so beautiful. I mean, once you are jumping in and you lose the fear, this it's like addictive now. It's like, <gasps> yeah, I want to have more money to make more money, to make more money, to make more money. Money comes to me easily and effortlessly. Yes, that's the point of this <laughs> affirmation. Yeah. Yes, money comes to me because you know what? I don't need the money. The money needs me. 
Oh, I love that. Money needs me, I, yeah. money needs me because without me, <laughs> the money is only paper or it's only an idea. I love that. I mean, money comes to me because, you know, if I don't give the money the chance to pay my bills or buy the food or buy me a new car, then it's nothing. So I don't need the money. Yeah. Money needs me. And that's an affirmation that I have been saying for the last 34, three, <laughs> 365 days. And it's awesome. <laughs> I was like, oh, all this time. I'm going to borrow the, that. I'm going to borrow that from you. Take it, money girl. Needs me. Take it. Money needs me. You don't need the money. That's, that's. Yeah. that's you're one of, you're one of the, you're one of the only Latinas that I know that's all into crypto because there's very, I like try to reach out to my friends and they're like, oh no, they're, you know, or, um, you know, because I've always had some type of investment like in, in the 401k or um, in shares. I, I have, you know, some shares and some stock and things like that. Um, but it was mainly for savings. But crypto is like, it's if you get in now, in the next couple of years, it'll be amazing. Oh, and yes. you know, there's a lot to yeah. learn. You got to learn the industry really and the, the lingo and, you know, what fiat is and, you know, how the ledgers but work. It's, and, but it's fun. It's part of oh, what yeah. I'm saying get i mean why don't you earn while you learn oh yeah, yeah instead yeah. of wait to learn and then maybe you start something no i mean go 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 girl you you can do this i'm actually uh trying to work something with gold and silver silver mm -hmm. uh i was talking with a friend uh before the interview and he was telling me this opportunity of buying gold and silver which is you know long-term investment but it's actually a really good um, thing to do right now because of the markets, you know, like I, uh, you, like can buy it, you can buy it, you can buy gold in some wallets, like the, the uphold wallet or the coin, well, not, not Coinbase doesn't sell it, but uphold wallet does sell yeah. like a, a version of gold. Um, and then, yeah, so it just depends what wallet you yeah. use, but, um, but yeah, I'm excited. We're going to have to have a conversation uh, about that later in, in, you know, since we're absolutely like in, yeah that'd be absolutely awesome. i'm still learning i'm just yeah. earning while i'm learning that's that's my 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 focus i mean let's I love that. jump uh -huh. into the water and swim honey yeah yeah <laughs> maybe we can it. do maybe we can do a little training for the uh, latinas 100 group and you can oh, talk a little yeah. bit more about that of yeah, that course i love it that would yes, be great sure. so sure 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 so yeah, so back to your, so back to the, to the essay, because I really want people to buy and buy the book from me, from you. Um, are you, do you, are you going to have a, uh, the book on your webpage or? Um... Oh yeah. Listen, I, um, when, when the book was published, yeah. I absolutely, I mean, the, the, in that moment, the, the, the house, the publishing house mm -hmm. was in charge of all the advertising yeah. and everything. I was with my head in my son. I was, you yeah. know, like trying to get my son to be healthy and, you know, just go with the life that I was mm -hmm. starting to with the, my social media. I was starting yeah. with Facebook and and, yeah. and and Instagram and all that and, you know, gaining followers and all that. So I just left the book to Amazon and, and, yeah. and, and I, I said again the word, someday I will translate the book and someday I will go back to this. And listen, when I was, before your call, uh, when you invited me to this uh, project, it was funny because 24 hours before your message or something like that, I just woke up in the morning, like an angel say like, Adriana, you have to look at the book again and make a translation and see what's going on. I mean, you have two years with the book over there and you never sold, I mean, you sold it and then you just stopped advertising and that's it. Right. So it was very funny actually how I'm co-creating right now and manifesting right now because that was one of this, you know, 24 hours before your invitation, I was thinking about my book and I was like, yeah. how is this? possible i mean you, you just spam an invitation and say yeah of course so i just started again and, uh, well i just read the book again and was like oh my god that was really hard i wrote that oh my god okay yeah. I, I need to do a second edition of this uh a spanish version and i have to translate it to english and i i'm going to learn from you mm -hmm. 
Thank you. A lot of things of how to, you know, to go to this uh, publishing uh, editorial here in Guadalajara, Grope, that you sent the, the link. Yeah. That actually, I was already there, but, you know, everything's still there. I mean, it's yeah. like I just pushed it away because I was in another thing. Yeah, yeah. You were in the middle of something else. Yeah. So, ahora, I have to, you know, retake that and decide how am I going to advertise the yeah. first the first book, our new book, and do the translation of the book uh, to English? Because of course I, I I would love to do that. Yeah. And maybe I'm going to create a web page, or maybe I will do it with uh, uh, by YouTube, or I don't know. I mean, I haven't yeah, thought about that know. because everything has been so quickly. Yeah. And. Uh, I don't know. You've been preparing. I, 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 See, this whole time you've been preparing, you've been doing the little things, you know, because not a lot of people can say that they've done a book, that they're a published author. Not a, you know, that's very, very few of us. So now you have two. So now yeah. you have that one, this one, and then you'll be able to have that. I mean, how many people do you know say, oh, yeah, yeah, tengo dos libros? <laughs> you know yeah, I mean? it's like, yeah, I know. It's, it's, all it's, it's all like been preparing you, you know, and sometimes you, you have bumps in the road and things that happen and now you're, but you're prepared because you're open. You know, and I think that's that's probably why. I mean, what what are the chances that of all the people, out of all the people that I could have looked on LinkedIn and stuff, I saw you? I know, I know, like, and it's and then you're into crypto, and then you're into crypto. Uh -huh. You know, three languages. You're a translator. You already have a book. You know, it's like there's no, there's no coincidences. It just doesn't it doesn't work that way, people. <laughs> no, and it's just it's just that when you are open to receiving, then you receive. And, and I have been, I have several books that I have worked with uh, as an editorial, uh, as a proofreading, as a translator. I, I just finished three books uh, translating to Spanish mm -hmm. the, from Isaac uh, Adisas uh, about uh, organizational communication. It's like um, very, very beautiful three books that I just finished. I just delivered them last week and, and mm -hmm. It's awesome. I mean, it's like always been in connection with the writing uh, yeah. of publishing and, and all that stuff that, of course, uh, I, I have some PDF, how to manage your Facebook account, how to gain followers from, organically and, and all those is something that I have been writing and doing for the last two years that I have not um advertised too much because I was in the process of becoming who I am right now yeah. you know this yeah. uh empower woman with the with, with the decision of jump into YouTube and not staying only in Facebook for example and that that was a huge step and I have grown YouTube for the last uh three months or so or four months oh, and you, have I just, thousands, you have thousands uh some of your videos are like thousands of likes yeah thousands of oh, yeah wow that's amazing it's, yeah. it's, it's amazing it's work, uh, right it's work it's like it's like toma tiempo you got to learn how to do it it's, yeah. it's work it's not easy i mean yes yeah, like once you're done you're like oh yeah i have thousands of followers but like every day you know you're building you're building you're building and then yeah. one day one day somebody comes or one day an opportunity comes up and then it's, you know, you're here, you're preparing, preparing, and then that opportunity comes. And then that intersection right there, that's where the magic happens where you're like, Oh, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's like those, I've always believed that there's going to be three people or three events in your life that will take you to the next level, you know? So you, if you can identify those three, it's like, Oh, that person helped me open this door that opportunity helped me open that door and it just keep growing keep learning that our only job is to continue to grow and to continue to learn that's it and then i, I, think, I believe that yeah. that evolution is inevitable yeah. how you evolve that's your problem yep yeah oh i love that yeah it's so true yeah it's, it's so, so true. true i mean so. you can be i mean you're going to evolve you like it or not <laughs> i mean that's your problem if you if you're aware of how you are evolving that's your problem yeah so wisdom it's it's about it's about being here and now and and forgive yourself and everybody else yeah and you, you no no matter mm -hmm. 
you talk about yeah. that in your in your uh, in your story in your essay here about forgiving and then taking full responsibility so in one part here um at the very it's like almost at the very end almost at the very end you say the responsibility is and he remains mine alone i already forgave myself today i'm very happy with who i am who i have become the one, uh, the one I always was, but who got lost along the way. Girl, I love Absolutely. that. Absolutely. You know, uh, when I got sick, one thing that I understood was that I have to get rid of the word why. Mm -hmm. And instead, I had to start asking me what for. Yeah. And when I got divorced, mm -hmm. I got divorced so in love with my husband I really really loved him in that very moment and it was really hard for me to mm -hmm. say goodbye it took me like eight months of therapy because I was convinced that I was if I didn't die two years ago I was not going to die because my broken heart wow. you know, it's like I don't I don't I don't I'm not going to fight I'm going to flow and I'm not going to be that person who's you know get the lawyers and you know fight for what is yours I mean because I was very weak yeah. physically emotionally and 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 my health was in jeopardy so wow. I was like you know what I again choose to be happy I again choose myself and I have to forgive me for trying to come to, to please everyone, starting from for him, you know, and, and, and my kids and everybody else but me. Mm -hmm. And when I understood that and I was, you know, like stop regretting whatever it was to regret. It's not to regret. It's what it is and what it what it was, was. Mm -hmm. And what I understand in the process is that what is going on right now in your life is a reflection of what you did in the past. Your present past is what you thought, what you did not forgive or, or, or you forgive or, or whatever. It's the reflection of what you thought in the past and what you vibrate in the past. And what you see right now the power of now that's the point uh, okay i realize i'm not happy right now okay i i'm not happy with who i am right now okay that's okay i mean don't punish yourself don't you know oh my god i did that wrong and he laughed at me because i don't i'm not enough and blah 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 no i mean it's like hey make peace with who you are right now make peace with right here and right now that's the reflection of your past that's past mm -hmm. tense right now what do you want yeah. how do you want to vibrate tomorrow how do you want to manifest tomorrow how, how do you see yourself tomorrow and tomorrow means in a few minutes you know <laughs> yeah. i mean you I have 17 that. seconds yeah. you have 17 seconds to change your vibration Ooh. you don't need to do a hard job to you, you're not going to jump from depression to, to happiness. <laughs> Woo! Of course not. There's the, it has to be some steps. You know, you have to, you know, you are <laughs> depressed. Okay, now be angry. Because when you're angry, then you can start fighting. And then, okay, now you're fighting. Okay, now, uh, 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 and then, oh, okay, I'm happy. I feel peace. Get the process. Get the process. And don't punish yourself for being who you are or, or, or whatever it's. I mean, you are not the reason why the world, the world is the way it is and you are not going to change the world. No, I mean, girl, you're not here for changing the world. Change yourself. Ooh, Be happy with who you are. Very Respect very yourself. Forgive everybody. Forgive yourself. Mm -hmm. And go on. I think that's the hardest part for a lot of women is just having that introspection and saying, oh, I forgive myself and being kind to ourselves. Cause I had to learn, I had to learn. I personally had to learn to be kind to myself. And I, when I started doing the work and I started learning, I literally would lay down cause I was single my whole life. 
I would lay down and I would just caress my face and I would tell myself that I love myself because I didn't really feel that outside of me. And then it was mm. when I realized I'm like, I have to do it for myself. <laughs> yeah, and everything and, changed. And everything changed. Everything changed. And 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 you know, uh, now that you say you you were single all the time and you you love yourself and you pamper yourself and you look at the mirror and say how much you love yourself. That applies to single, married, widower, or whatever. I mean, it's uh, I'm single right now and I'm in love with love. And my my my, my kids. They laugh at me because they say, I mean, mom, you're crazy. Yes, I'm in love with love. I mean, I know that that man for me and for that man, it, I mean, I'm ready to be ready to be ready. And I want to be with that. And I write all the characteristics physically, emotionally, psychologically, and all the things that he has to have for me, you know? And um, I want to be with the man that is already happy with himself. Mm -hmm. And he said, oh, oh, I didn't know that I miss you so much. Where have you been? You know, it's like, wow, that's the kind of man that I want. But in the meantime, I'm so happy with, with myself. Yeah. So complete with me and, and so full of plans and, and, and things to do. And, you know, it's like so happy with what I, what I am right now who I am and really I forgot myself pleasing others yeah it happened and that's on me yeah. that's on me and you know what I bless myself yeah I forgive myself that's it Adriana let's go <laughs> I love this um this attitude like this attitude of just blessing yourself and then even even looking in the mirror and saying man I'm so gorgeous I'm so beautiful you know and then my my children are like mom you're so this and my husband's like oh and I'm like hey I gotta say it to myself because if I don't say it to myself every day you think the world's gonna go and say that about me no way I have to do exactly. it for myself it, you have to almost like I I don't like to use the word fight but you do at some to some level you have to fight for this but this understanding, like you have to make sure that every cell in your body vibrates how amazing you are, because, you know, where every, every human being is a miracle. And, um, and I believe it, man, I believe it, because when you start evolving and you start changing that mindset to knowing that you are, you know, a co-creator and that you have that power, everything shifts, everything shifts Absolutely. for you. So. Absolutely. And, 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 and the word fight, I understand totally. I mean, it's not that you are fighting against mm -hmm. you know you're fighting because you are a strong woman and you are empowering yourself every single moment of your day and recognizing your ability your skills your weaknesses your everything you are in control of your emotions because that's the only thing that you're in charge of everything else is not in charge of you yeah, yeah. so once yeah. you are mm -hmm. in control that's why you are fighting it's like I, I love to imagine myself, all the cells in my body and the atoms and my neurons and everything, you know, like dancing all over in a happy dance <laughs> all day, every day. It's like, I am in control of that emotions. And when I see myself or when I feel sad or, or, or discouraged or, you know, like, that's okay. I just take a nap or a tequila. <laughs> and, and, and it works good you know it's like <laughs> I mean whatever it makes me feel better mm -hmm. that's the vibration that I want to yeah. I, I realized that yeah when I started doing the work like I said I was single my whole life so and I never wanted to get married I, I didn't believe I, even now I'm married and I don't even really believe in the concept of marriage I believe that if two people love each other they should be with each other uh, but I never wanted to get married. I didn't, uh, I didn't believe in it. I knew that I was going to be single my whole life and I was okay with it. I knew that I would have children and I was going to adopt. I was in the process of adopting and I just wanted to be single. And, and I, there was a moment where uh, for whatever reason, and I didn't even know this, but it was, it was disclosed to me or it was, it was, my eyes were open to it was that eventually it deep in my heart, even though I didn't know it, that there was going to be a partner. And, uh, and I was upset. I was like upset with God because when I met my husband, uh, we knew each other for like a week and then he proposed in 40 days and we got married in three in three months. 
that's the magic that I want. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. what had happened, what had happened was when, when he had come over to my house uh, and he touched my hand, I knew I was like, oh, I'm going to marry this guy. But I was angry. Wow. I was angry at God because I was like, I don't want to get married. No, I don't want to be. No. And, and I remember in my bathroom yelling, like saying, no, I don't want this to happen. I want to be single, you know? And when I remember when I, you know, I went through it because at that moment I had done the inner work and I knew that I needed to go with the flow. I needed to be open. I needed to have compassion. I wanted to, to experience love. And I've been very fortunate in love. And I was like, I wasn't gonna, I was gonna, I was not gonna resist. So when I got married three months later, I remember realizing at that moment that I didn't even know what my heart needed. Mm -hmm. It was only like the bigger intelligence of God knew that what I really needed was this partner and I needed this stability and I needed to be grounded with this person. And that, you know, I was really fortunate because it was mutual, right? He loved me as intensely as I loved him. And I, I always thought, how is that possible when you only know a person for three months? I wow. thought that was, but I knew that I had to be open, you know, yeah. most people would run from it, right? And, I, and then another thing is that I didn't, even now, like, my husband always says, why do you say that? I'm like, no, I don't even like this concept of marriage, but I love the idea and the emotion of love. I love uh -huh. that we love each other and we're together. And, um, and that was a huge, a huge eye opener for me that there's some things that we just cannot control. And love goes beyond a culture love goes beyond like rules and regulations love goes beyond whatever however you were brought up to believe love is when it's the real thing right love is so powerful that it can heal your body love can and love for yourself can heal your body and i believe that when you share your story that's like what's happening right you evolve into this individual that like you say you redefined yourself and then you love yourself so much that your every cell in your body is repairing every cell in your body is healing and then here you are like completely fun and in love with your life and the next thing you know if it's meant to be this amazing person shows up exactly. and then it just it just you're synced up you know exactly so, because yeah, yeah. you are preparing yourself every single day to be, uh, I believe that there's a better version of yourself in alignment with you. And yeah. that's being in alignment. It's to be in connection with that higher person, that is spiritual, that energy, that love in the whole concept of you that wants you you pass your life all the all, all the things that happen to you during your life mm -hmm. are giving you this hints of mm -hmm. things that you can do but you get lost in the i have to or i must do so wow. you get lost in that so once you receive the information i don't know how maybe the sickness maybe whatever experience in life that you have to pass through and you start realizing that the only thing that you have to do and the only thing that you are meant to be doing in this very moment is to be happy and to be in alignment with yourself yes with that greatest greatest person that you are not god or or or, or angels or yes of course i mean all the energy we are energy mm -hmm. but if you see yourself as perfect as you are but you are perfectly imperfect you accept yourself the way you are yeah if it's meant to be it's going to come in cryptocurrency and fiat and um, in, in the love of your life in in health and whatever it has to be yes. because it's meant to be and and as long as you vibrate and you recognize that the feelings and your emotions are going into your how do you know that you are in the right path it's because you the way you feel yeah, you, if it feels good, if yeah, if it feels good. If it's, I mean, as I said, it's not that you are Tinkerbell and you are going to be ah, life, everything is good, and you know, let's oh, people is dying, woohoo! No, I mean, no, come on, I mean, <laughs> I mean, no, I mean, it's it's that 
if you know that you are having a bad moment, it's just it's just that it's not about life. It's a bad moment. Yeah, yeah, so much. And, mm -hmm. and and as you said, you were in the idea that you never wanted to get married, and now you have this wonderful person beside you. And as I said to my kids, oh, they said, "You want to get married again? I mean, why?" I mean, why? I mean, why? <laughs> like, it's not that I want to get married because I dream of getting married. It's because I want that partner in my life. Yeah. It's like I want to, I want to share some, you know, I want to sing and, 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 and laugh and walk through the, to the ocean and, and drink tequila together and, and hug hands. And, and, you know, it's like, I want to do that because I was, I was always, I always thought that I was going to grow older with my husband. Yeah. I always thought that I was going to be a healthy person. I was, I mean, and life is just what it is and it changes. Yeah. And if you don't take the horns of the bull that you have in front, uh, that's your responsibility. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and whatever it takes and the time that it requires for you to be in alignment, that's on you. Yep. Yeah. And it is a process, right? Like being in alignment isn't just like, oh, you have to be in alignment and luego pasa. No, there's work. And the work means that, you know, you have to be open to new ideas. You have to be open to new books. You have to be open to new ways of thinking. You have to be open to so many things. And all of a sudden these as books, that's why I love books, like books shape you. Every book that I've read has shifted me, shaped me. And then one day, you know, you have all this information that you, if you're smart, you, you integrate it in your life. Right. And then, you know, life magically evolves, like, because you're, you're getting all this wisdom from all of these people, you know, and then you wake up one day and you're like, ah, this is what it's about, you know? And then at the end of the definitely. day, it's definitely about love and then about serving others. How can I serve? You know, where, where do I go this morning? Who shall I serve? Who shall I help? And how can we, you mentioned something earlier about this connection and you want to have this, this company. And I totally agree. It's a beautiful thing, right? But it's really more about having somebody there to be a witness to your life. We all Absolutely. want that. And yes. that's why authors write books, right? Because we want to leave something behind. We want, we want somebody to read our work and say, hey, there's a witness to what I've experienced or how I, I've experienced life. And maybe this will help you. It's a, it's a legacy. Mm -hmm. I mean, as I see it, I am here to change not only my life and the way of thinking and the money in my life. There's a phrase that I have in one of my Facebook, Facebook pages that it's uh, money, love, lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's is that it's not only that, you know, it's, it's, it's everything, you know, it's everything in, in, you have the power to change everything, but you have to be aware of that. If you, for example, um, your circle of influence, mm -hmm. the people that you have been with for your life, the whole life, 30 years, 40 years, 10 years, the last 10 years, you, sometimes you have to get rid of those people. And I don't mean to, I mean, don't talk to your mother, or your father, or your, I mean, it's like, you just have to be aware that they have another mindset and you are evolving. Or another agenda. Maybe they have or another an, agenda. Or they have these ideas of lack, for example, or, 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 uh, or they are afraid of, world wars or they are afraid or i mean i don't know it's not that they are that they are bad people no they don't mean bad they love you they have been with you for a long period of time but you are not that person anymore mm -hmm. and that's something that i learned in these few years it's that if you want to change your mindset you also have to change the circle of influence that you have that's probably and that's when you are attracting thing. the people, the right people for your purpose in life. And I am here to change that way of thinking in my family. If they want to come along with me, that's their problem. Okay. That's something that I, it's very important. I, I'm not here to change or to convince anyone yeah. or anybody to do anything, to invest in crypto, to have the better life, to be happy. I mean, that's your problem. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I'm not here to convince you. I'm here to build a legacy. I want my children to look at me and see, wow, mom, I'm so proud of you. And it's not that I need the recognition, but it's amazing to see in their eyes mm -hmm. that I just bought a car with my own money uh, after being in bed for a year and struggling for money. And once I make the shift, once I realize that I have the power and I decided to start manifesting, it's choice, the magic starts. Yeah. And, and what I want is that in a few years, they have this and generations to come. That's my legacy. Maybe you will find it in the social media, of course, in my books that I will continue to write and in people with like you connecting with me, you know, and, and, and that's a legacy. It's yeah. something that conscious awareness around the world is going to make it happen. I mean, you can see COVID and the sickness, like this terrible, horrible year, 2020. And you know what? My One of my hashtags is 2020 manifest. Yeah. I choose to, on December 2019, before the pandemic hits here, Mexico and America and all that, I decided that 2020 was my manifest year. Yeah. And th that it's, absolutely true i mean it's not that i don't worry or or i mean i don't worry but it's like of, co of course i take care of myself of course i use masks uh, of course i take care of my son and my daughter and, and you know I, I i prefer to be locked down and you know i elevate my vibrations and you know what i do i visualize covid the molecule and i said <laughs> you know what covid someone that created you i don't know who or why or how but what i do know is that he or she created you with a lot of love passionate hate for whatever purpose in life that person or people had to create you but you know what that's a huge amount of love why don't you give up to that love and stop fighting against us why don't you start loving humanity the way we are? Instead of fighting against that sickness, I'm sending love to that molecule and to all the people that is having this struggle. Yeah. And of course, I pray for elevate my soul and my vibration for you and for me and my kids and our son and daughters and all around the world, our parents too. Yeah, that's such a powerful prayer. That's a, such a powerful prayer. And the visualization is so important. And I think that when you do the, you know, you do the inner work, and then you read all of the great minds like Louise Hay and Greg Braden, Bruce Lipton, and, you know, Dr. Dispenza and all of these, like you realize that, yeah, it's all about exactly what you just said, which is the visualization and the conversation that you're having with even the molecules in your body. Um, you know, and, and I even want, I mean, just to be transparent, unfortunately for me, there's not a lot of conversations, at least in my circle of influence, where women in particular are, ha are, are talking about that or, or are even expressing this idea of talking to a virus or talking to, talking to the ether, talking to, you know, whatever you perceive as God, um, because a lot of people are stuck in still the material. So I think it's definitely the conversation we're having is like almost like a like a like the third level, right? Where there's some people that are gonna get it, and then there's other people that are like, "De qué están hablando?" <laughs> ¿Qué les pasa, viejas locas? <laughs> yeah, it's like, thank God. We, we've read the books, right? So we've read like you know, yeah, um, Abraham Hicks, and we get, we just get it. We're getting the message; it's being transmitted to us, and and we're like fully aware. And we're like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So, you know, like I said, there's no coincidence why we, why we, we connected and, and why, you know, I have this, this wonderful legacy and story in front of me that is going to be shared in this book. And um, I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that we've had this conversation and that I, I, I'm so blown away by how much we have in common. So I, the I'm name, so we yeah, have Adriana, name. you know Adriana, what's Adriana. the name of Adriana? <laughs> Adriana means princess of the ocean. How amazing. Oh, that's it? Princess yeah. of the ocean? Ooh, I yeah. love that. I didn't Me know that. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so just to wrap it up, what do you want our viewers to know um, 
when when they read your story, what do you want them to know? And what is what do you think you'll be leaving behind for the next generation? I want I want people to understand that life is beautiful, no matter what. And it's a choice. I repeated that word during the interview a lot of times, but it's true. Mm -hmm. Life is about choices. I mean, you take an ice cream, chocolate or vanilla. <laughs> it's a choice. Yeah. I mean, you can drink a beer or a tequila. That's a choice. You can take the highway or you can go through shortcut. I mean, it, it's all a matter of choices. And what I want people and my son and daughter to understand and, and, and all the people around me is that, yeah, magic is possible yeah. because it's not magic. It's your power. It's your inner power. Wow. And it's about the choice that you have yeah. to make it happen. And yeah, there's a lot of excuses not to manifest. And, and yeah, I know you get disappointed if you open the door of your front door and, and there's not the car that you've been dreaming for a long period of time or, or the apartment that you want or the vacation or the job of your dreams. I mean, yeah, but life is what it is right now. Mm -hmm. So you have the power and the choice to do differently. Yeah starting from right now in this very moment and how do you start embracing yourself i mean you pamper yourself i'm doing just fine where i am is where i am and that's how i am right now. this is perfect i am perfect right here and right now i am beautiful i am successful i am doing the best that i can i mean don't push yourself or punish yourself for not being where you want to be because you're just pushing yourself away from what you really want to be mm. and allow things to happen. Allow things to happen because sometimes you're so concentrated in something that you just don't see the opportunities around you. Yeah. You just, that, I mean, they pass and that's okay also. I mean, because you are not ready. It's like cryptocurrency. I wasn't ready. And if I had done it before, maybe I will be a millionaire right now. But it's okay. Yeah. I will not punish myself for that. I will say, yeah, yeah. oh, Adriana. Okay. Yeah. Next. Now you're ready. Yeah. You have to pass through, process, through different processes in life. And all the things and every situation, every contrast, embrace that. Mm -hmm. Because it's it's that moment, in that moment, when you have the chance to look at the mirror and actually say to yourself how much you love yourself. Yeah. How wonderful you are. And if you're in a very, very bad mood, and if you are really, really, really upset or angry or, you know, frustrated or, or you want to really, really hit someone or, or jump yourself through the window, mm -hmm. That's okay. Don't punish yourself. Don't push yourself to the limit to hate yourself. Mm -hmm. Just relax. Do whatever it takes for you to make you feel a little bit more, a little bit better, a little bit happy, a little, just a little, just a little tiny, 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 tiny. I don't know. Take a walk. Feel the sun in your hair, the, the wind moving your hair. Mm -hmm. uh, hug your cat. I mean, whatever makes you feel a little bit yeah. better, pamper yourself, take a nap, just break momentum, break momentum. Yeah, I love it. I love it. That's such good advice. So I think for, especially for the younger generation, right, and all the, the young people now, because um, I don't know about Mexico, but in the United States, there is just like this epidemic of suicide and anxiety and um, you know, panic attacks and, you know, our young people are really struggling. So I think that the work that you're saying right now about, even if it's just that little bit that you need to do, take a walk, whatever you need, whatever you need to do, do that. I think that's really helpful for our young people. And then anybody who's watching, I encourage you to, you know, um, look her up. I'm going to put the link of her YouTube channel so you can check her out of her book on Amazon that's in Spanish that she's eventually going to translate to English too. 
And, I promise. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then so look her up. Anything that uh, you want to, you know, hear more about her, I think we're going to do probably another one, but we'll do it in Spanish and uh, check her out. I want to thank everybody for hanging out with us in the 100 Authors 100 Days. Um, thank you so much. And thank you, Adriana, for hanging out with me and having this wonderful conversation. Oh, thank you so much. I mean, I mean, I mean it with all my heart. Thank you so much for this amazing opportunity. God brought us together. And this is awesome because we're going to build a lot of things together. And I'm so happy to be part of this project and for many more to come. I yeah. mean, count me in. Count me <laughs> in. I'm going to stick writing and, and with your help yes let's make let's make this world a better place but not because we want it.